Good day and welcome to video number seven of the series where we are going to try to solve the research project on NCA level one statistical analysis. Okay, so this is a multivariate analysis and we have a box and whiskers and a dot plot. So in this final analysis, we are going to analyze three more items. First, we're talking about the shape. Second, we talk about the outliers, also called the unusual data. And last but not least, we are going to talk about the cluster. So without further ado, let's try to talk about the shape. Okay, so we look at the shape here. It looks like a normal bell-shaped curve. So we say that it's a normal bell-shaped curve. It is also quite symmetrical. The left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So we say it is symmetrical. And last but not least, we need to know how many highest points one how many pick in this case we have one pick for the back and one pick for the forward so in our shape we are going to talk about the shape for both the back and forward distribution is normal means it's bell shaped curve it is not skewed it is unimodal because there's only one pick and both distribution and they are both symmetrical the left hand side is equal to the right hand side remember you cannot get the perfect symmetrical shape so it's more or less kind of shape okay if your shape looks like that where it drops to the right then it is called skewed to the right if it is dropped to the left then it is called skewed to the left in our case it's about the normal so we call it the bell shape curve and we say that it has a normal distribution Great. Now we look at the unusual data. Okay, Unusual data are very large or very small number. So in our case, the biggest number is around here. The smallest, I mean, the biggest number is here. So it's not a big deal. So I would reckon the weight between 110 and between uh, 77 is about reasonable. So we uh, there's no unusual data in our distribution. So we mentioned that for... They seem to have no unusual data in outliers for both the back and forward. So the highest weight for the forward is 130. The smallest is around 98. So it's acceptable. So we're not going to say there's any outlier. So we're going to leave the data as it is. Okay, last but not least, we're going to look at cluster. Cluster means they're groupings. So in this case, they're all in one group. So we say, again, there seems to be no cluster in both the back and the forward weight distribution. So that is how we answer the shape, the unusual data and cluster and hope you can manage to uh, digest everything. So I repeat again, the first thing you analyze is the center followed by the spread. Then we talk about the shape, the unusual data, cluster. And before this video, we also talk about the shift and the overlap. Hope you got the hang of the seven analysis you need to do in this internal and the last Two videos we talk about the conclusion that is the most important part of this internal the conclusion we're going to learn the half three quarter rule and also we're going to learn about the dbm the difference between median and the ovs also called the overall visual spread and the last 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 video is going to be about sampling variability if you want to get excellent hope you join me for the next video 8 9 10 and i'll see you soon cheers